Finance Minister, if I were to ask you this one question, with the exception of Air India, no strategic privatization has taken place, any significant. You know, whether it is IDBI, Concor, uh, SCI, banks. Uh, why, why has your government sort of repeatedly kind of underperformed on this disinvestment aspect? I mean, is the thinking changing within the government? Are you looking at sort of strategic sales and not maybe offer to sell uh, completely? Is there some shift in the thinking? I would want you to, first of all, put that question into the frame that I have laid in the matter of public sector enterprises policy. Okay. If a policy framework has been announced, and in that we've said that there are only core strategic sectors which government recognizes, where the government will be having a minimal presence. Okay. And even in those sectors, private sector will be allowed to, or it will be completely open for them to participate in total, in the sense there will not be any one sector inclusive of the core strategic sector which will be exclusively reserved for public sector, whereby consolidation will have to happen to make them big enough for a big country like India. Yes. Efficiencies will have to be brought in. Their values will have to be increased. So this question of yours will have to fit into that frame. I, I will not reverse any of the cabinet approved decisions. Okay. But at the same time, you should probably also have noticed that for each of them, we are working to make sure, we are not allowing them to remain there till they are getting disinvested. Equally, we are working to make sure that their valuations are kept up, they are improved upon. That if you look at the public sector listing, listed companies and their valuation in the market today, you see the kind of vibrancy which has been brought in into them their share values have gone up. The dividends are even much better than earlier. Absolutely. So disinvestment is one thing, but in bring in value to them and make sure that the markets look at them absolutely favorably. No, in fact, the public sector companies